Hello, welcome back to my channel, Dash of Lux, or if you're new here, welcome. On my channel, I talk about fashion, beauty, style, and of course, luxury. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you my wish list for the Nordstrom Anniversary Sale 2024. So if that's something you're interested in, then keep watching. I went over the details of the sale in a previous video, which I will link below. But basically, the sale starts for early access on Tuesday, July 9th. And then it's open to everyone, to the general public, on Monday, July 15th. The online preview of the sale started last Thursday, June 27th, and that's when they put most of the items that are going to be on sale on their website. And I say most because throughout the days leading up to the sale, they'll put more new items on the website. So I have a couple of wish lists. One list are things that I'm definitely buying, and then the other list are things that I'm not sure about that I kind of want to take a closer look in the store before I actually buy them. So Without further ado, we're going to take a look at some shoes, some clothes, some beauty, some accessories, and some home items. So we'll just go ahead and start with the shoes. I have quite a few shoes on my wish list this year for some reason, but the first shoe that I have on my list that I am interested in buying are these Hoka Mach 5 running shoes. I've been hearing a lot of good things about Hoka shoes, that they're really comfortable and they're really good for walking or running. And this summer I plan on walking a lot, so I really want to get a good pair of walking shoes and I um, want to give these Hokas a try. They have different colors. The color that's on my wish list is the white with the blue and the yellow uh, sole or bottom part of it but they also have a few other colors the pink um, this yellow color and this kind of peachy color and the next pair of tennis shoes that's on my list are these Nike Air Max 90 Futura sneakers I really like these neutral colors and I just think they're so modern looking and just kind of sleek I really want to give those a try and my favorite shoe brand is Adidas, so I plan on buying these Adidas Gazelle in this pink and green colorway. I think this color is so cute, and it's, these shoes are just so retro. I have other Adidas shoes, but I don't have any like this. I have like the Stan Smiths and the Superstars. I don't have any Gazelles, so really excited about those. I really like these New Balance 327 sneakers. I like the neutral color, similar to the way that I like the neutral color of the Nike shoes. I just wish this in was a different color, um, maybe like a darker beige color or a black color. And these on cloud sneakers, uh, I think I'm going to buy another pair. I have a pair of gray and pink ones and I really like them. And for some reason, I just really like this colorway. Uh, the green and the white and the lavender and then the the brown lacing and the kind of the brown um, details around it. I just for some reason I like this colorway. And these P448 sneakers are on my maybe list. They are on sale for $199.99. After the sale, they're $298. These shoes are really comfortable, but they look so much like these... Um, they look so much like these Dolce Vita shoes that I have, which are inspired by the P448s that I just don't think I can justify getting them. If they were in another colorway, I probably would, but that's why they're on my maybe list. And then for boots, I feel like I buy boots every year during the sale. Um, I have these Dirty Laundry Cowboy Boots on my list and the color natural. I just think they're a really good price at $59.99. Um, after the sale, they'll go up to $89.95 and they're just such a cute um, boot, kind of a mid-calf boot, which I've been looking for. I have a lot of knee-high boots. Don't have too many lower boots that hit me at my mid-calf, so um, I'll be buying those. And then I have these Jessica Simpson leopard print boots on my list. I like the darker color leopard print. 
and of course leopard is a neutral for me and I like the lower heel I believe this is a two inch heel and a few pair of boots that are on my maybe list are the Steve Madden motorcycle boots these seem a little clunky to me and a little heavy so I want to kind of take a look at them in the store and try them on to see if they're too heavy for me and I'm really drawn to these soft boots in gray suede. I don't have any gray boots and I've been wanting a pair. And I also like that they are a wedge booty. So interested to see what those look like in person. And then for some reason, <laughs> I am drawn to this Vionic booty. And I think I really like this color. It's kind of a cognac color with a lighter sole. Now on to clothes. So I've been looking for a really cute trench coat and this one by Ralph Lauren caught my eye. Um, it's on sale for $149.99. After the sale it's $250 so that's like half off. And I really like the black one. I think it looks really sleek and chic. It has like this what appears to be leather piping on it or some type of shiny material. So I would get the black one, but they also have like the typical trench coat, tan color, and then this navy color. And then another thing that I've been looking for is a gingham button down shirt. And this one by Caslon for $45.99 is one that I'm definitely going to buy. And then I think this Vinyl Icons New York t-shirt would look really good underneath that gingham button-down shirt um, or just by itself but I think it's a really good price on sale for $15.99. This Vinyl Icons Paris sweatshirt is a really good deal at $21.99. Paris 24 I think that's probably a nod to the Olympics this year. And I always get a pair of jeans during the sale and these cut from the cloth jeans are my favorite ones and these are cropped during the sale I always just stock up on my basics so this long sleeve v-neck t-shirt and the white color for $18.99 is something that I'll be picking up and I'll be picking up one of the halogen crew neck sweaters they're so good in the fall time when you just want something that's long sleeve that's not too hot that'll keep you kind of warm during the transitional months and this Caslon long sleeve uh, rib top is on my maybe list just because it has like these drop shoulders which I'm not too sure I love but then it has like this pleated detail in the back which is very interesting to me so this is something that I want to take a closer look at in the store something else that I've been wanting lately are some new sweatsuits I just kind of want to up my sweatsuit game so this first one is by PacSun. I would get the, the hooded sweatshirt as well as the sweatpants. Um, the sweatshirt is cropped. It's $30.99. And I believe the sweatpants are around the same price or maybe a couple of dollars cheaper. The other sweatsuit is also by PacSun and it's in this dusty blue color. Uh, the sweatshirt is $29.99 and I believe the sweatpants are the same price. And then the last one, which I believe this is on my maybe list because the sweatshirt is a little more cropped than I usually wear. It's by BP and it's $24.99. The sweat should be about around the same amount. And then I usually buy a pair of pajamas during the sale. And this uh, pajama shirt is by Moonlight Echo. I really like the Nordstrom Moonlight pajamas. They're so comfortable. They're so breathable when you sleep. And then I usually get a couple of new Notori bras. The one that I'm getting is the perfection, the Bliss Perfection one. Um, and then I'm also going to get the t-shirt bra. And the clothes that are on my maybe list. The first one is this Hourglass blazer coat which is similar to the Balenciaga hourglass jacket. I'm curious to see how this will look on me and it comes in this really pretty red color. I just wish the buttons were a different color besides black like maybe red buttons or clear buttons so I just want to see what it looks like in the store. And then I really like this Zoe and Claire um, sweater dress. 
uh, I think it would look really good in terms of um, providing some curves for you just because of where this little detail on the waist sits but it looks kind of long I'm short so I'm just not ready to pull the trigger on it I want to see how it looks in the store to see where it falls on my legs and this button front denim skirt by cut from the cloth is really cute it's on my maybe list just because of the price it's $72.99 I'm not sure I want to spend that much on a denim skirt this sweater dress by French Connection looks cute online but I want to take a look at it in the store just because it looks, I don't know, it could look kind of plain unless you dress it up with a cute pair of boots. And then the back, how it kind of looks a little bit slouchy or sloppy, I'm not sure about. And a couple of sweaters that I'll take a look at in the store is this Treasure and Bond sweater. I've had this sweater before in a different color and um, it was really oversized so I want a smaller size and a different color and another sweater that I'm interested in seeing in the store is this BP everyday v-neck cotton blend cardigan um, in the color oatmeal or I'm thinking about the color tan I'm just not sure which color I want so I'll just try it on in the store I'm not afraid of this getting sold out so it's totally fine now for accessories the first thing that I'm interested in, and it should come as no surprise because I love handbags, is this Long Chomp Top Handle Crossbody Bag. I thought this was interesting because I don't usually see Long Chomp bags with the Long Chomp logo across it. So this is in black and khaki. It's $171.99. And I just think this is different. Just something that is unusual for long chomp something that I don't have in my handbag collection for jewelry I'm really liking these Nadri um, drop earrings and they come in a couple of colors they come in the silver color and the gold color but I'll be purchasing the silver color and then the rest of my accessories are kind of I'm in between on so they're on my maybe list and I'll take a look at them I'm going to shop in store, but this first one is by Bobble Bar, and it's just this beaded bracelet. I really like the turquoise color. And this other pair of gold earrings by Deepa Garnani are $64.99, and I have three pair of sunglasses on my wish list, and these are all on my maybe wish list. These first Gucci oval sunglasses, I like the design on the arm of the sunglasses. Oval sunglasses are not usually ones that I'm drawn to. I like a more square shape on my sunglasses. So I just wanna see how these look on. And then these Parada sunglasses, I really like the shape of them. They're more of an angular, um, kind of squarish, roundish shape. So I was intrigued by that. I also like kind of the tortoise shell arm of the glasses. They're on sale for $260.99, regular price $391. And then for some reason, I am drawn to these sunglasses. I've never heard of Carrera eyewear and they're $116.99, but I like the silver um, color of the frame. And then I like, what is this, like a grayish, it looks a little bit lavender color of the lenses so want to know how those look on me so that's it for the accessories and then moving on to beauty i was really underwhelmed by the beauty selection this year so i don't have very many um, items in the beauty category i just have a few um, the first one that i want to try out is the pmd um, facial cleansing brush and it's 66 dollars not a bad price i've never had uh, a PMD uh, brush before. I, I used to have, I think it was called like a Clarisonic brush, which was overpriced. I think I think I paid like $200 for it a few years ago and then it broke on me. So um, I'm hoping this PMD will be something similar and for a lower cost. And then the next two items are just kind of beauty items that are in my usual beauty routine. And the first one is the Gold Lust Shampoo and Conditioner. It comes in a full size as well as 
two travel size items. And I always restock on the Soy Face Cleanser. This particular duo is $39, regular $55, and it comes in a full size cleanser as well as a travel size cleanser. For home, I just have a couple of items on my list. Every year, I always get a Veluspa candle set. You get a couple of candles, a votive candle, and then uh, one in a tin. And it's on sale for $20.99 in the fragrance Watermelon. And I'll always get a few of these for Christmas gifts as well as one for myself. Something else that I'll look at in store is the Stripe Comforter and Sham Set in the color white as well as this white fur or faux fur throw blanket i think those two things will look really good together so that's what's on my wish list so far leading up to the sale i'll probably be removing and adding more things and i'm interested to hear what's on your wish list if you want to leave that down in the comments once the sale starts i'll be doing a couple of haul videos so please subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell so that you don't miss out on those videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!